Hey everybody, this is Marcin Super on the Marcin Super channel, and today we have our team analysis plus our first week team prep for the World Showdown series. Once again, I am repping the Los Angeles Landerises. As your coach, we are going to go to victory today. Well, not today, but tomorrow when I upload the battle. But we're gonna we're gonna go far in this season. We made it to playoffs of the last um, series we were in really good we did kind of cut out of the top but today i'm going to show you who i picked and the reasons why i picked them and then i realized and i'm gonna tell you too i was trying to pick and then i completely decided i had like the world's sinkiest team so we did so uh, the draft went one mega one ou two uus two ru's two nus and four free agents the free agents can be of any tier but using 400 points and the points were like, the points were um, like, it was like 180 for OU, 120 for UU, 100 for RU, um, 60 for um, NU and 40 for PU. So we, we got a pretty good team, I can say. We did we did draft Mega Manichan, which we do also be able to trade in team. So this might be my first one. Mega Manichan. Pretty good ability with the pure power, high attack and high speed with decent bolt. And we picked our girl Chansey as our OU tank. Nothing but pure power spewing from this young lady right here about to put hands on everybody. We also rep in the Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz is one of my favorite Pokemon if you guys don't know. But on top of that, we also have the Sableye. We also rep in the Sableye right now. Sableye is just another really destructive Pokemon. Pretty good. I got, I was like, okay, I gotta get some things I've never used before too, because that was kind of the point. So I picked Ticino as our, like, as our RU sweeper, another physical sweeper. I kind of messed up, but Ticino is gonna be repping as, and then we have Reggie still. I don't know if I, I did I have Reggie? I didn't think I had Reggie still in the old series but i do remember having reggie still so these are our mega first oh you are two you use and our ru picks and then like ah uh, we exited off the whole entire thing okay. so let me show you our second part we're rocking with the let's do it like this we're rocking with manetric manetric powerful good solid attacker but per like on point on the point coverage we got the charizard i was just like i gotta show my boy charizard some love maybe we could get some really cool interesting things out of him we also got rotom he as we starting getting into the free agents now so rotom heat was one of my free agents tornadus was another one of our free agents prankster pretty good ability pretty high special attack even to become a mixed attacker not as good as Thunderous, but Tornadus does have his own niche with the Hurricane. A lot of other good things he can do. He can even become a pure physical attacker. We got the Swamp Perg with that clean Swamp Perg. Clean Swamp Perg. I mean, it's a pretty good Pokemon. Something I don't usually use. And what I'm going to tell y'all who the star is this whole entire season about to be. The Drio. The Drio is about to put hands on every bot in this league. The Drio is about to do it. Best believe. I'm, a, I'm, I'm hoping that Drio is going to be able to put some sick-ass plays this whole entire season. So, as we're in it, we're going to... Oh, man, messed up. So, now we're going to prepare for our Team 1 battle. First is... Uh, the Pool Pit Plups. Channel League description for CC. Because the coach is... CC is me 5. Pretty cool dude. Talking a little bit before the match. Um, pretty chill dude. His channel link is actually going to be down in the description. Pokemon content are just like me. It feels like his team is fully focused on Pokemon too. So that's really good. If you guys want some. I think he's in the middle of two Let's Plays right now. So if you guys like watching Let's Plays. Go check him out. But we're going to start. We're, I'm going to name off his. Like sound off his team right now. He's rocking with the Lawn Punny. The Tornadius, Tornadus T. Which is very bulky. We have the, he has the Vaporeon, Apollyon, Meloetta, Typhlosion, Floatzel, Scizor, Roserade, Rampardos, 
Latias, and Zebstrika. So pretty good Pokemon there. Um, I see the Long Punny. Tornadus is a special attacker. The Porygon could be the clerk of the team. I mean, even Napoleon could be Defogger. We can see. I'm seeing Meloetta as a mixed attacker. I don't know. I don't see a lot of Meloettas, but Meloetta can put in work. Type Lotion just. Type Lotion strong. We see the Float Tool. We see Scizor. We see Rosary. There's probably there's Rampardos. I mean, all these Pokemon can be very viable really quick. But I can't see a reason for him not to bring his Mega Pokemon. And that's probably going to be the biggest thing to try to check in right now is his Mega Pokemon. So as we're as I say that, I'm gonna be switching back and forth between all this. Let's make it a whole lot easier. I need to be more prepared in my life. Just remember that, kids. Be more prepared in your life. Be more prepared in your life. Photos. Okay. So I don't see a reason for him not to bring his mega. So, instant things that I kind of feel like I can bring to stop his Mega is the Tornadus. I can bring in Tornadus, Sableye, Rotom Heat. Sableye does have, um, does have pr Prankster, what is it, Prankster, Wylobus. So, I don't see a reason not to bring Sableye. I don't see any Fairy types on his team. So, Sableye, I mean... Actually, I'm looking at his team right now. Not a lot of them are carrying like heavy fairy stabs. So Sableye might actually be able to put in a lot of work. He can spread around status. He can spread around status. I might carry two statuses on him just in case. But mm, let's see. So we're definitely gonna bring the white um the white Lois. I can't see a reason not to bring White Lois. Um, I'm looking at the other moves, and I don't see a reason not to bring Recover. While of this and Recover should be our two mandatory things. And because I don't want Sableye to be locked into, um, just in case I get taunted, he is kind of slow. So, you know, there's Tornadoes on this team that can be faster with the taunt. I'm going to be able to get at least, I don't see anybody, no Pranksters on this team, as I can see. So, the possibility of, um, I started something. So, no Pranksters on this team. But Long Punny has the scrappy ability, so I'm gonna be um, weak against her fighting moves. So we do need to keep that in mind before we um, just freely sit in save light. We're gonna have to sit in save light on a on a clean switch, and if we're even going to try to use him like that, we could always run the knockoff on him. Knockoff is a pretty good move to keep on the save light. And I'm trying to think, what else could we possibly bring to that throw them off? I could, we could do Seismic Toss. That's a good idea. Shadow Sneak is in a bad move. Only normal type he has on the team is Long Punny. So that could be a thing. Oh, we could carry the Taunt. We have the Tornadoes. We have the, um, Taunt might be good. I'm trying to think, what else could we do? We could even bring in Toxic. So it's between Tot and Toxics. Tot will help me against the Vaporeon, the Apoleon if it's not special focus. Um, and even Latias. So I think I'm gonna carry the Tot. Knockoff will be our thing to get us out. And then we can be specially defensive, which kind of helps. But if that's the case, it's not gonna give me a lot of room for physical tanks. The only physical tank I'm gonna be able to carry really is Rotom Geek. If that's the case special defense is lower I could see him bringing the tornadoes the polion Meloetta maybe the type lotion those and Roserade and Latias are very high special attackers so I am gonna go with the specially defensive set on him giving him I mean pretty good stats pretty good bolt but plus with recovery being priority it's just gonna be buzz and we're going to dub this table line Spooks. Spoopy. No, Spoopy. We got a name of Spoopy. Because Spoopy is such a cute name. Okay. So, the second pick that I am, I'm going to actually pick in... I want to bring Rotom Heat. I really do. 
But I'm also looking at his team and I don't see a lot of grass types except for the Roserade. And I think I have something for that Roserade. So we could bring in Swamp Perk. Swamp Perk could be our physical tank actually. Let's see. Swamp Perk has a pretty good defense. Pretty good bulk overall. We could make him Assault Vest to give him full HP. But that's not giving us a lot of defense as it is. We could give him rocks. We could give him rocks. Um, have him be a kind of tank, kind of, how do I explain it? We could, he could be our, our lead. He should be able to dish out pretty average damage without a lot of um, investments. We got, we gave Spoopy the, we gave Spoopy the leftovers, so I don't want to double up on the leftovers. Focus Ash kind of seems kind of pointless on a... On a, um... On a tank. I could use the berry that gives me half damage on grass moves. If it's legal. I can't think of the, bear, the berry. Boop, boop, Lacerac, Focus, Hodor gains Focus Energy, oh no. What is the name of the berry that gives the super effective grass? I feel like if it, useless items, usually useless items. Agua, Aspers, Float, Orin, Picha, Persma, okay. I, yeah, but this isn't a useless item, okay. Okay. Oh, this is like incompatible items that I'm going through right now. Okay, good. That was Pokemon specific items. Can't give him a Swamp Her Knight. That'd be amazing if I could. That'd be cheating super hard though. Let's see. Salak? Nope. Rosalind? Nope. R Rindo Berry. So at least at that point, if he does bring in the Sableye, we'll be able to take half damage from that type of those type of moves and on that we can give him rocks stealth rocks and then let's take a quick look at his team um let's see can learn hidden power grass that'd be amazing if he was <laughs> pretty decent we could even i mean seven cities in the bad isn't a bad sludge wave doesn't do too much power punch low kick hydro pump ice punch I would go with Ice Punch, but only Tornadus would really take that much that much damage from. Let me take a lot of damage from Ice Punch. I can go with EQ, and I can get the same amount of um, the same amount of things from Earthquake, Rock Slide. Tell you the truth, and just there's no reason to have. I don't see a reason to really carry a Water Stab when I have the Earth when I have the Ground Stab for the Typhlosion for the Rampardos. Nothing on this team takes that much more damage from water stab. So we can go with EQ, the rock slide. And we can even go for protect. Just for scouting. We're gonna name him Guppy. Copy. Copy. Okay. So I mean at least we have one special tank, one physical tank. Um Let's see. I could always bring in Chansey. Chansey kind of can fall both sides of the spectrum. And then we could focus on getting actual sweepers going on. So that could be one thing. <sighs> Should we, I feel like if I bring Chansey, I feel like if I can bring Chansey, get rid of the lawn punny, and get rid of the Mellow Weta, we could get some work done. I feel like we could. But I'm gonna hold off and thinking you know, on putting on Chansey in much later. Let's get our Mega Pokemon set up. Medichan is just gonna be beast. We're gonna give her her signature move, her signature item, and give the pure power ability even before, even before um, Mega Evolution, because there's no reason not to have it. She does get the bullet punch. The bullet punch does hit. I mean, bullet punch will hit everything for neutral, except for maybe the um, the Porygon, Typhlosion, Floatzel. 
everything off it can nick off real quick um even if we start off with it i think priority is never a bad thing um and this is where it starts getting tricky we're not gonna be fast i believe we're not gonna be fast enough to beat um let me see let me see what mega meta champs um amount ooh. Mega Meta Champs, um, da da da. Speed is after she Mega Evolves, because I don't feel like it goes up that much. Um, Mega Meta Champs, Small Dog. Meta Champs, Small Dog. Her base speed goes to 100, while Lomp Honey Mega is at 135 already out of Mega Evolution. So, we're not going to be outspeeding her. So, we could go for the Drain Punch. Catch her off guard. And Drain Punch will um, add to our survivability. There's no reason to run High Jump Kick. Um, just for the power. Let's see. We can also go with maybe Ice Punch because of um, Tornadus T. I actually got to check Tornadus T's um, base speed. Tornadus Therian. Base speed is 101, wait, 121. So it's going to be outspeeding us even at base 100, even if we go with a Jolly Nature, which I can try to go for. So, like, Metacham is not about to get here, about to sit here and do like massive. Um, let's try Glatias real quick, too, because I feel like it wouldn't. Like, Glatias is just. Now, if the Latios isn't, doesn't have speed investments into it, Ice Punch could do work. And on our second move, do we have the knockoff? Do we have a knockoff as a choice? Why, why wouldn't you have knockoff? No, you don't have knockoff as a choice. It's, it's silly. So for the second move, we can actually go for, we go for Thunder Punch just for coverage. Um, Vaporeon could be a thing. I don't want to be Scald. That's another reason why I feel like I need to bring Chansey. I don't want to be Scald. Thunder Punch will hit the Vaporeon. If we can catch Tornadus on a switch in, it does damage. It does damage to Apollyon. Floatzel. z Striker might have... What is Z-Striker? I feel like these actually affect his motor drive. That's why we're, we're going to carry Goku. And even if he's carrying the Hidden Power Grass, it's not going to... It's not going to do too much. So this is where we're gonna go with max speed. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Max speed, max attack. Oh no, not max HP. And since I already have an even um an odd H, I mean an odd what you call it? I um HP stat. We'll just go for Jolly. And we're gonna go. If you guys know it, we're gonna go with Monks. Because if you guys ever seen my Mega Man and Chap series. My Mega Meta Champ battles, you'll know. So now the key is how am I gonna outspeed these really like long punting tornadoes? T. Those are the fastest things on this team. Even Z Sight Z Sight. How much is what is Z Striker's base speed? Z Striker's speed is base 116. So clearly he has a speed advantage over me in this match. So I'm gonna see. Cicino has a base 115 speed, but Lampani, I mean, Cicino might be able to get Choice Scarfer. And let me see what Tornado's Eyes, um, Tornado's Eyes base speed is 10 under Therian. So we're gonna have to try to out bulk them instead of trying to outspeed them. Like, let me see Minetric, because Minetric. I can scarf Minetric and it'd be pretty alright. Minetric does have a base 105 spe speed. So I could scarf, I could scarf Minetric, I could spark, um, spec Cicino, and I could spec, I mean, scarf. I could scarf Cicino, Minetric, and I can scarf, um, Tornadus. But I feel like scarfing Minetric might be the best bet because. Minetric has the best coverage. Shocky shocks. Man, nah, that's silly. Bubba. Bubba. We're gonna name him Bubba because he's a dog. 
Um, and we're gonna scarf him because he does have scar. He does have a base, a really high base special attack and a really high base speed. Minextra can always, Minextra does have the ability to also bolt switch in and out. We have the flamethrower, we have thunderbolt, and we have hidden power ice, which isn't going to do the most damage, but hidden power ice, which doesn't have the most power. But even if we come in and start whittling it down with bolt switch, choice card bolt switch, get out, send in something tanky to tank, it's soak up those hits. So kind of a good idea, really good idea. I can't see a single move of his that doesn't hit something for super effective except for Long Punny. Except for Long Punny and Meloetta, anti floating Long Punny, Meloetta, and Typhlosion are the only things though that, that doesn't get hit with super effective damage. Rampardos might be a little too bulky to get knocked out by Hidden Power Ice. And it's... Yeah, oh no, that's not good. Uh, we're just gonna have to be um, quite smart with this. But, uh, and then I think my last two mons, I could definitely go with Cecino. I can go with Cecino. Cecino could carry the Rock Blast, Bullet Seed, <laughs> Bullet Seed. Uh, I mean, they, that whittles down. That super whittles down. But I really want to bring Chansey. If we can get rid of the Law of Punny, Chansey can sweep. I mean, not Chansey, because Chansey can sweep. Chansey can aid sweeping, and I can give her something. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give it to Chansey. I'm gonna give it to Chansey. We're gonna give her Evil Light. We're gonna give her Nature Cure, and then we're going to give her. Does she get Aromatherapy? She does get Aromatherapy. Does she get Healed Up too? Oh, she gets Healed Up and Aromatherapy. I'm gonna give her Healed Up. Because if Monk gets hit with a burn, any of them, like if Monk or gets hit with a burn, that's just it. We should be able to um, pivot out there and do some justice. I'm gonna give her Seismic Toss. We're gonna give her um, Soft Boil. And for the last move, I'm gonna give her T-Wave. Like, I, I'm looking at the team, I'm looking at his team again. See, Strike is the only thing that doesn't wanna take a T-Wave like that. This track is actually gonna get boost from T-Wave. We're gonna give her physical bolt. Evil Light's gonna bump that up to about the same amount as special as her, her special defense. So she'll be able to do some stuff. And we're gonna call her Night Nurse. Night Nurse. So we have We have our tanks. We have our Physical and special attacker. I could give the last slot. I mean, we, ooh. And another good thing about this team is like, it's not worrying about rocks that much. Bubba takes the most, Bubba Night Nurse and Snoopy takes the most, but Guppy and uh, Monk actually take reduced damage. So what we could do is we could bring in Mandibus. Mandibus could, could default, but I don't think I'm gonna worry about rocks that bad. Um, we could bring in the duo as a choice bander. It's pretty fast. Not going to outspeed Long Punny, sadly, if Long Punny is a plus speed nature. Could bring in Rotom Heat for just extra bulk. Could bring in Cecino as a choice bandit. We could bring in Cecino as a choice bandit, um, attacker. It's hard. It's hard to decide. I really want to win this first week. So... We can't even bring in Reggie still. Reggie still is just meh. Nah. nah, we're not gonna do Reggie still. I think I'm going to bring. I'm gonna bring another attacker. So I'm gonna bring another attacker. So we have the choices from Sassino, Charizard, Tornadus, Dudu. And I think I'm gonna bring Tornadus in solely because Bubba. Let's see. Let me just make sure of this. Does no more tornadoes be able to learn U-turn? Yes. And it gives me it gives me a few more immunities. It just gives me a bit more immunities. 
It's perfectly good. Um, we can even give him Life Orb. Life Orb Prankster. Um, I want to give him Hur- What is Hurricane's base accuracy? 70%. I don't want to give that to him. I mean, it could knock out Long Punny if she switches in. His Tornadoes isn't really going to care. Uh, not a lot of super effective things against Tornadoes. The Polion can learn Ice Beam, the Vaporeon, the Polion and the Vaporeon can both learn Ice Beam. Meloetta can learn Ice Punch, Floatzel can learn Ice Beam. Rampardus can learn the um, Rock Stab. Latias is kind of there, I guess. I guess. I guess. How much more powerful is it than Air Slash? Then? Air Slash doesn't even have a perfect accuracy. We can also, he also has access to Grass Knot, will take out the, will Apollyon take um, normal damage, Apollyon will actually get knocked out, I mean, could get knocked out. Um, do have access to Knock Off? Does have access to Taunt? Snoopy has Taunt though, too. Does have access to Tox? So, does have access to Toxic. Also has access to superpower. Superpower? Hurricane. And what up? Heat wave? No, nah, heat wave wouldn't heat wave wouldn't be that useful right now. Protect. Sludge bomb? Nah. Tailwind? Nah, because I'm gonna if I we could give him, no, we can't give him the specs at that point. We could at least get a Tailwind off. Yes. We'll give him the Tailwind. Because if we could Tailwind, none of his Pokemon could really touch us at that, at the speed, at that speed tier. Um. Okay, so I think this is a pretty solid team, first week team. Um, you guys will see the battle tomorrow, so I mean, worst case scenario, we lose. <laughs> I don't want to lose first week. But I think this is a pretty solid team. I think this is going to be able to help, help us out a lot. Um, with the combination of Thunder Wave and um, Tailwind, Strong Attackers, Guppy, because, you know, Guppy's Beast, and Snoopy. I think we can do this. I believe we can do this. So we're gonna name this World Championship, World Showdown Series, Week One versus. Ooh, that's not a one. Week One versus the PPs. So guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave it with a like, comment, rate, subscribe. Come back tomorrow to come check out our Week One fight. It's gonna be powerful. I believe. I believe we can actually take a win first week. So. This is Mars King Super on the Mars Team. This is Mars King Super on the Mars Team Super Channel and the Mars is out.